The Hawaii volcano alert seems to be getting more dire by the hour. More homes lost, more roads damaged. Even the island's biggest lake now filled in by that fast flowing lava. It's a dangerous situation which has resulted in more evacuations, but there are people sticking around there. Our Jacob Rascone is live on the big island. And Jacob, you found a Houston woman there on vacation. Keith and Dominique, while hundreds of homes have been devoured by lava in just the past 24 hours, all of the devastation is located in a very small portion of the very big island. And this one woman from Houston decided that the island needed her tourism and that she wanted to see the volcano. From Houston to Hawaii, it was going to be a dream vacation. Catherine Tacconi and her son Nicholas hiking to waterfalls and stunning beaches. But from the porch of their vacation home, the orange glow of a slow motion disaster. It was amazing what you could see. The sky was lit up purple. You could see the fissure. Catherine lives in the woodlands and booked a Big Island getaway months ago. When the lava erupted, she almost canceled. And everybody at work, my family, my friends, are you still going? Why are you still going? Aren't you going to change your plan? I'll be honest, we booked this trip because we wanted to see lava. While hundreds of homes have been devoured by the lava, the overwhelming majority of the Big Island remains untouched. Exaggerated fears of the lava threat to the rest of the island has cost local businesses millions of dollars. Zip lining tours or ATV tours or boat tours is their livelihood. And so they've been so appreciative that we didn't change our plans. The dream vacation they always wanted. The tourists, the island, desperately needed. And the humanitarian crisis here is incredible. Thousands of people displaced, unable to return home. And the need is being met in large measure by the islanders themselves who have turned out with just countless donations of food and clothing and diapers and toys, just endless. And we'll talk more about that coming up at 10 o'clock. Reporting live in Puna, Hawaii, Jacob Rascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Yeah, that video is still so amazing, incredible to see. Mm -hmm. She wanted lava, boy, she got it. Indeed. All right, Jacob, thank you. You can follow Jacob's journey online as he tracks the Kilauea volcano and talks to people in that area. His journal entries being posted on our website, click2houston.com.